Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today is a really big day because to, at the end of the day tomorrow we're supposed to get snow, and uh, that's always been sort of the the goal is to avoid having snow on the roof before we get a roof on there. Uh, as you guys might have seen the day before yesterday, we got all the insulation up on the north side of the roof, the south side of the roof we still haven't touched yet, and what I'm working on right now is everything that I need to do from the scaffolding before I move the scaffolding around to the front and uh, finish the, the front, which should be pretty quick because there's almost no uh, insulation there, it's mostly all windows, uh, and then uh, begin the, the southern roof. Uh, so it's it's a big important day today. I had an early start, uh, started about an hour earlier than usual just because River happened to wake up earlier, uh, and right now what I'm doing is, is putting these bolts through, and I had kind of a cool idea. I, I've been having trouble these are the, uh, the piece of threaded rod. Now, um, I put nuts on either side, and I had been having an, um, an issue uh, when I have a nut on this side and a nut on this side. I'd be trying to tighten on one side, but oftentimes, instead of, uh, of the nut on the side uh, tightening, what it would do is it would just spin the entire rod. So I, I'm, I'm spinning the nut, but instead of the nut getting tighter, uh, it's just spinning the whole rod and it was tightening up on the other side. So I'd have one side that was, you know, barely engaging and the other side is, you know, getting overly tight. I was having a lot of trouble with it. I thought about using Loctite, which is kind of like a glue uh, on there. Had a, a couple ideas, but then this morning I just had a, kind of a revelation that I could do it in a different way. These are cut off of three foot sections and it, it occurred to me that um, if I didn't cut them until I until I got them up, it would give me something to grab onto over here. So I've got this one through, and I've got a nut on the other side, and what I'm doing is I just tighten up here, and the, the nut on the other side I have fully engaged, it's at its, its final you know, depth of how, how far I wanted it screwed through there, and now what I do is I've got two nuts locked together on this end, and I just take the, uh, uh, the ratchet, hold there, and I use this to keep the, uh, the, the threaded rod from spinning. So now I can, I can tighten up here, and I can keep the, the rod from spinning. So now I know it's not tightening up on the other side, the, the, the rod isn't, uh, isn't pushing through deeper through the other nut. I'm just tightening this nut, and this seems, seems to work pretty well. The only thing that is kind of a trade-off is that after I'm done with this, I have to cut this, which I had to do anyway, but it's a little less comfortable, you know, doing the cut up here at the top of the ladder instead of like, you know, I had been doing them before on the windowsill and it was all kind of locked down, but it's really not that bad and it does a really good job of uh, making this part a lot easier. So I didn't get any new tools. I didn't, uh, you know, you know, buy buy any products to make this job easier. I just kind of rethought the order of the procedure and just by thinking it through I was able to turn a job that was really difficult and wasn't going very well into a job that is much more functional and uh, and I'm getting a, lo a lot better bite on all of these now that I'm doing it this way. So just uh, kind of thinking it through a different way uh, can can oftentimes take a job that is sort of difficult and turn it into something that works a lot better. That's that's kind of the video today. <laughs> this is one thing. After this though, we're gonna be working on the front and trying to get uh, the roof on as much as we can before we have that snow coming. That's it. Thanks for watching.